1757, during the war between France and England for possession of the New World, Cora Monroe and her sister Alice were escorted by Major Duncan Hayward, a colonial officer who is in love with Alice, and David Gamut, their singing teacher, have been attacked by Indians and have taken refuge in a cave. The leader of the Indians is Magua, a cruel Huron chief who hates Colonel Monroe and is bent on striking at him through his daughters. Two mortal enemies of Magua, the sole survivors of the Mohican tribe which was massacred by the Huron, have come to the aid of the girls. Meanwhile, the Mohican's friend Hawkeye, a famous scout, has reached the fort with the news and troops have been sent to rescue the party. Important dispatches have been stolen by Dulac, a French guy, and Hawkeye is on his trail to keep the British military plans from reaching the French commander. Let him live. Magua has need of him. Black Eagle forgets that these prisoners are Maguas. By what right are they Maguas? Magua could name many rights, but one is enough. Through these prisoners, Magua will get revenge on their father, Colonel Monroe, who cut these guards with a sharp whip. We take the trail to the camp of the French. Without arms, we cannot attack. But we follow Magua to the death. to claim the reward promised him by General Montcalm. My prisoners are the daughters of Colonel Monroe. Colonel Monroe, indeed. With them, you can force their father to turn over the British forts. How, Magua? Colonel Monroe would do anything to save his daughters from being burned at the stake by Magua. Colonel Monroe has reason to fear the vengeance of Magua. A well-planned scheme, Magua. But you forget that the French do not make war on women. 
Now go! Magua will go. But Magua will not forget. Unspeakable act of my savage ally. I can but offer my apology. I regret very much I cannot return you to your father. But as guests of France, you will be accorded all the courtesies my poor camp offers. Thank you. Halt! Advance and give the countersign. France victorious. I'm being pursued by a British scout whose dispatches I stole. There he is! Fire on him! Surrender or we fire. Are we never going to attack the British fort? We know they are about out of powder. It seems to me now is the time. But unfortunately, our powder supply is low. But isn't there a powder train due? The prisoner you desire to see is in this tent, mademoiselle. Major Hayward. Major Hayward. Carla, is that you? Come in. Duncan, I have to see you. Oh, God. Thank heaven you're here, too. The French are preparing to attack the fort. My father must be warned. I'll rest easier now, miss. Knowing you young ladies are safe from Magua. For a wagon train of powder which is coming in tomorrow morning. If father only knew he might seize the powder and cripple the French. At the same time, he strengthens himself. By the time we got word to the fort, the powder would be in Montcalm's hand. If orders to be done, we must do it ourselves. Do it ourselves? The Mohicans. I might have known they'd follow Magua here. You're on war paint to get inside the line. Oh. 
All is ready. The horses are hidden outside the camp. Come. Best get out of that British uniform, Major. Sir, I'm positive that Hawkeye read the dispatches before he destroyed them. That is true. We must make him talk. Impress upon him that a firing squad awaits his refusal. Wait for me. Would you leave your faithful singing teacher in the hands of the enemy? Both Hawkeye and Major Haywood have escaped, sir. Escaped? Sound the alarm. The men are to pass the outer guard. Send Margaret to me. General Montcalm's order. I am escorting these two ladies from the camp. Let me see your pass. Something is wrong. You'll not leave till we learn the cause. I don't believe you have a pass, you... Prisoners have escaped. Mark and his braves must find their trail and capture them. The White Father turns his back on words he spoke to Magua this day. Do we now make war on women? I'm not interested in the women. The men are spies. You must bring them back, dead or alive. The Mohegans have joined them. They have taken to the brush, and darkness hides them. But Magua will find them. Lead the way, Magua. You're the red devil. By daylight, Hawkeye's trail will be hard to follow. English have laid an ambush for you. An ambush? Yes, but for our red friends here, my guide and I would have stumbled straight into it. We saw you coming and came back to warn you. Is there a way for us to detour it? None. The British need our powder and are determined to get it. Our only chance is to surprise them. How? Leave the wagons here. We shall all slip forward, surround them, and wipe them out. Agreed. Lead the way, sir. Drivers, stay by your teams and do not advance until called. The rest of you, forward on foot. It's not occurred to arouse their suspicions. hidden in the underbrush below. It's best we separate and surprise them from both sides. Don't charge until we give the signal.
hours. Oh, then, uh... The ladies must leave their mounts here and ride the wagon. So we'll all be together if we have to make a run for it. We have seen no enemy, nor have we seen our friends. What party is this so far outside of our line? It's a convoy of the powder shipment. Powder shipment? But I see no wagon. We met a party who told us of a British ambuscade ahead, so we left the wagons to attack them. Were there two ladies with that party? No, there was a French soldier, a scout, and two Indians. Fools that you are, you have been tricked. They were not French, but English, and by now are well on their way with your wagon. Magua, take my stirrup. Perhaps we can overtake them. Can't ride down to them, it's too steep. Magua, cut across with your men and ambush them. If they turn back, they'll run into our trap. No need for that. They're doomed. 